Bueno, seguimos en Juego de Tronos, estamos con Morse y vamos a, a ir hacia Castel Bosque, creo. Aunque seguro que nos emboscan o algo. No puedo entender lo que ha pasado. Estaba supuesto que ser seguro. que fue Valar. I am truly sorry. It is strange. Someone went to the trouble of burying them. Entonces no fue Valar. <laughs> <laughs> state of the tombstones. I'd say it happened some time ago. What should we do? I will find those who did this, and they will pay for what they've done. I swear it. I understand. You seem anxious again. I am. Everyone here seems to have their eyes fixed on me. I do not know what to make of it. If they were enemies of ours, they would already have killed us. Without their help, I don't believe we would have escaped Valar's soldiers. Yet I don't trust them. Nor me. I fear for the baby. I don't know what might happen if I don't well, see them. Vamos, vamos, vamos. You will be able to see them, Meister. But let's keep our visit as short as possible, and I'll think of where to go next. I'll you rest some more. Thank you, Mors. Thank you for everything. For everything. <laughs> the end of this journey will be rough. You're right. You should rest too, if you can. Castel Bosque. Ahora es cuando se deberían encontrar Alistair y Morse. Y a llevarlos a los dos sería la polla. Here we are at Castle Wood, the stronghold of House Harton. This fortress was built on Blackwater Rush, making the river a natural part of the wall's defenses. Lord Halton should be waiting for us inside. Vamos para allá. Be brave, my lady. Our maester will ease your mind, I'm sure. We will follow you. ¿Quién es este? Joshua. Greetings. You What a sorry business, just for petty theft. Ah yes, young Poddy. Unfortunately, he died in the shadow of the wall. What? Poddy is dead. Por qué nadie nos lo dijo? ¿Y por qué habría de decir eso? Wall, we have but one family, our sworn brothers. But what shall I tell his parents now? Dark wings, dark words. I thought that only applied to actual crows, <laughs> not to you men of the Night's Watch. Please. Say no more. Spare me from worse news. I would rather you speak with Joshua. Vamos a ver. Mercader de pociones, mercader de armaduras. Vamos a vender como si no hubiera mañana. Me estoy haciendo con un pastizal ahora que lo... Uh -huh. Vale, ahora veo que puedo comprar... 117 140, 154. Pues me lo pillo. Uy, tonto. 143. 143. Me lo pillo también. 440, la mía es mejor. Mmm. 
Uh -huh. También me lo pillo. Pues todo un set de Castel Bosque. Y te robo. <risas> Ahora si vienes un momento. En mi mente. ¿Y ahora tienda? No. Vamos a equiparnos todo lo que hemos pillado. Mola. Vamos para dentro. <risas> uh, demasiados guardias hay por aquí. Sí, sí, demasiados guardias. Y ahora este no lo veo por ningún lado. Ah, at last, my guests of honor. I am Arwood Halton. Me muero el casco de esa vez. You are most welcome here. Lord Halton, thank you for the precious help you have given us. Do not mention it, my lady. My men have told me of your condition. I inform my Meister of your arrival. He is ready to see you immediately. Very well. Let us go and see the Meister. Mors, don't worry about me. I can manage it alone from here. We shall go together. I would like to see this Meister too. <laughs> Very well. You will find the Meister in a room nearby. Go left as you leave here. Marianne, you shall accompany our guest. After that, You will go and ensure that our other guest has everything he needs. Yes, uncle. Yes, uncle. Pues vamos a llevarla. No, por aquí no es. Ah, que está el maestro. Martin. You are the young woman whom George R. R. Martin. Come in and make yourself at ease. There, Moors. Thank you for accompanying me. But we really must be left alone for now. So be it. Take care of her, Meister. Do not worry yourself. <laughs> Qué grande este Dios. Puede ser, no se parece mucho, pero. Pero sí, yo creo que sí, que es un cameo, cameo rico. Oh, there you are. I hope you feel reassured. You care considerably for this young girl. It's true, but I have good reasons that I'd prefer to keep to myself. <laughs> Qué I grande. I was led to believe you were in the Night's Watch. That's right. Correcto. It is a rare sight to see a black brother so far from the wall. The Lord Commander made me a recruiter. As such, I go where I see fit. Yes, I heard of your appointment. I know of you, Sir Westford. Oh, really? Please, do not take offense. I can assure you that you have no Your name is well known to me. Of all the brave knights of Robert's Rebellion who live on in memory, you are undoubtedly one of my favorites. One of two heroes at the Battle of Stag's Mount. At the time, some said that you were worth ten men. Time often twists the truth. A stream becomes a flooded river. A cottage becomes a castle. It's true. But tales of you are not that far from the truth, according to my men. I don't see where you are going with this. Well, please excuse this crude question. Mm -hmm. But how could someone of your stature end up at the wall? During the sack of King's Landing, I received a direct order from the leech lord, asking me to murder a woman and her children. I did what I thought just, and in doing so, disobeyed him. 
but alas, it wasn't enough to save them. Ah, I understand now. Allow me to tell you what I think of this tragic event. I hope you will take my curiosity as a mark of respect. I will be the judge. Yes, I can hold the answer. If I remember rightly, House Westford were bannermen to the Lannisters. Your liege lord must be none other than the ruthless Tywin Lannister. Correct. Reliable sources tell me that you were sent to the Wall a little before Robert Baratheon became king, for reasons that escaped me at the time. But I think I understand now. I'll wager that Tywin entrusted you with the most disgraceful. Elia Martell. That of murdering Elia Martell, Prince Rhaegar Targaryen's wife and her children. Perhaps you refused through loyalty to your old king, Aerys Targaryen. Tell me. No, I was not fond of the Mad King, but even so, I could never murder a woman and her children, whatever my oath. I was not far from the truth. Anyway, I'm sorry. Is your name Redigan, Sir Westford? You are a worthy man, Sir Westford. If you accept, we'll discuss this further over the dinner I have prepared in honor of your arrival. Please find your lady friend and join us for dinner. Vale. Maestra Martín. <risa> ese, joder, ese cameo es enorme. Sí, sí, me parece brutal. Bueno, yo sigo robando. Hola, amigos. <risa> Maestra Martín. <risa> Qué personaje. I'm happy you're here, Mors. What happened? The Maester confirmed that nothing serious will happen as long as I take some rest. Good. This Lord Harton, he seems friendly enough, but he appears to Demasiado know para to mi gusto. Too much for my liking. Do you think you will be able to leave this place anytime soon? I... I think it better that I stay here a little while longer. You must excuse me, Mors. I know you are worried, but I'm in no condition to travel right now. Not in this state. No, it's not a problem. Let's try to make the most of it and get your strength back. Well, we are expected at dinner. Do you feel you can make it? Yes. Yes. Pues vamos. Very well. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I'll follow you. I am counting on you to help your friend get some rest. It is best not to take any risks. I have seen enough young women lose a child to know that we can be sure of nothing until the child is born. I understand. I will take care. Thank you for your care, Maester Martin. Qué grande. Maester, what is that instrument you wear on your face? They are Myrish lenses. Lentes medianas. They help correct my eyesight. The lens crafters of Myre are without equal in the world, from what I understand. Impressive. Have you ever been? Qué grande, no, cago mi puta vida. Westeros is big enough for me. You would need more than an entire lifetime to discover all its riches. Oh, es que es enorme. Earlier, I thought I saw a drawing of an egg in one of your books. A huge egg, like a dragon's egg. Did they ever really exist, Maester? Oh, they existed, my girl, but they disappeared over a hundred and fifty years ago. Do you believe they could return one day? I very much doubt it. Unfortunately, we do not bueno, live in the story. Por uh, bueno. Bueno. You must know so much, being a Maester. Do you think the Seven exist? And if they exist, do you think they truly watch over us? Everyone has to find their own answers to these questions, my child. For my part, I have never really been satisfied with the answers <laughs> given to us by Septimus. <laughs> if the gods exist and love us, why would they allow people to rape, torture, and kill their families and friends? <laughs> why do we suffer? Why do we hunger and thirst? You understand that I myself can't give you the true answer. Everyone <laughs> believes what they want to believe. Oh, what frases you tienes, sure to look after yourself, young lady. I'm serious. Women with child who do not tread carefully can suffer complications. Ya está. Vale. Vamos a jamar. Jamar, jamar, jamar. Jamar. Comida gratis. 
止まらんけどさ止まってるなんかうーロバールウーうーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウーウー Yes, Maester Martin made me drink a brew and the pains have disappeared. Well, that all I can ask you. Thank you. He told me that if I should rest and avoid any unnecessary effort, then everything should be well. Magnificent. I'm so relieved. You may stay here as long as you please and relax at your leisure. I thank you. I fijo que Valar acaba atacando. O que este nos traiciona algo de eso. Please, I beg of you, come sit with me at my table. Well now, you must be famished after all these misfortunes. Ah, come here. Serve yourself. Thank you for this dinner, Lord Halton. Jane, my dear, there is something I must tell you. A very long time ago, I had the great honor of meeting with your father. What? You know my father? Your magnificent silver hair does not allow you to hide your origins. Valeria. It compels us to admire that you are a direct and noble descendant of Valeria. Tell me, could anything be more esteemed than massacring, raping, and burning people? Well, that's exactly what my father did to my mother, as well as so many others. Listen, I. Can we say this? I'm better now, or for the most of me. Mars, is everything all right? Yes, I just need to rest. It is true that King Eris had his demons, and it pains me to hear your tale, my lady. But although I understand your resentment. The Targaryen dynasty reigned for three hundred years of peace and prosperity. Can you? Can I murder her? Some comments around that time. If I might have been an other nerd. Events that were but a faint blemish in the golden age of House Targaryen. Jane, your father was unfortunately one of the last of the bloodline. Due to Robert's rebellion, it has all but disappeared. And what are we left with? Un reino y un pueblo rendido. People on its knees. Westeros does not deserve such a fate. The legitimate kings need to take back their throne. And do you think? You think Jane? La señora de Castillo va. You are aware that I am one of Eris's bastards, aren't you? I go by the name of Greystone, not Targaryen. Do not worry yourself with such small matters, my dear. Your family is still revered by the people. And they would welcome back the return of the dragon. Open arms. For common folk, the color of your hair is all it takes. All they really need is a symbol. A symbol of a mad and massacred bloodline. The Wood of Hall of the Throne. Thrones. I've been trying to lead a peaceful life for such a long time, and now you ask me to run headlong into a nest of snakes. It is our duty to reinstate the natural order, Lady Jane, and to rid the throne of the usurper. Robert isn't, perhaps isn't the best of friends, but at least he's not a butcher. Take your fate into your own hands, Jane. If you join us, you'll live the life you've always dreamed of. My child is not even born, and he's already a victim of your political games. You think that's the life I dream of? You misunderstand. He will always be safe by our sides. We will give him the Iron Throne. Jesus. I would have nothing to do with the damned throne. I just want to forget all this and live my life in peace, far from politics, the realm. And what of him? With or without our protection, your child will still be an heir to the throne. You realize that? His enemies will involve him in all this sooner or later. Is that what you wish for his future? Have I not made it clear? I do not care one bit for matters of the crown, and I shall never enter into any of your schemes. Baboom! I see. So there is no way to make you feel better. Believe me, that upsets me. I have just one more question for you. Do you remember that hunt where you met the usurper? Do you believe that? Oh, la planearon todo. Hard. What are you suggesting? The arrangement of that fell to us. The king was responding to an invitation from a. Friend, 
Not that long before, I had discovered your esteemed ancestry and realized that it was my duty to help you. Claro, claro. I made the necessary claro. arrangements so you could quietly have your love affair with the usurper. It's thanks to this that your child has both the blood of the dragon and the stag. Robert would never allow himself to be manipulated. He no, Robert, no. <laughs> yeah. kingdoms. Unless he had enough to drink, that is. Which has a certain irony when you think about it. Since it is quite similar to Puto. what happened <laughs> with your friend. I will distract them. Jane, run! Guards, seize her! Prendet the... Ahí va. Oh oh. Pero si no hay nadie con escudo. Bueno, y de coña sobrevivo a esto. Estaba claro. Venga, Alester, ayúdame. Alester. Alester. Mazmorra es de Castel Bosque. Gente eres. Gracias. Me picaba la espada. Tripas. Let me question him. Right, listen well. If you tell us what we want to know, we will hurt you. However, if you anger me in any way, guts will fetch his favorite tools. The last time he worked someone over, the poor lad was left a cripple and could drink through several holes. Hasta que lo matamos, ¿eh? ¿Qué ve? Until we killed him, and believe me, you don't want that happening to you. We'll start with an easy one. Who are you? Mars Westford, sworn brother of the Night's Watch. Ah, you're a clever one. That makes life easier. A ver. Next question. Who's the girl you're with? Jane. Jane Greystone, descendant of Ares Targaryen II. Ah, oh, let's continue like this, my friend. You're sparing yourself needless suffering. What is your true mission? Someone from high up sent me to come and find you for a very particular purpose. Well, I see we're making There's progress. It. But it's already too late for you now. We'll see about that. Guts, I would take my leave for a short while. In the meantime, <laughs> try and get a bit more out of him using your uh, talents. Can I do my worst? No, that's too much. Your fists will suffice for now. There's an itch in the middle of my back. <laughs> do you think oh, yeah, you scratch it for me, pig fucker? We'll see if you can keep up such merry tapes once you get what's coming to ya. Baboom. 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 Que amable, eh? Repitiendo la misma escena de tortura. That's better. I think he understands. We'll leave him to think it over until tomorrow. The pain is too much. 
It's impossible for me to get into the dog's mind. You enjoyed that, my friend. At first, I really thought they'd kill you. But you got yourself out of it well. Well, uh, what? Anyway, they seem determined to make you talk. As long as you have interesting things to tell them, they should keep you alive. I have to hold on. I have to stay alive. For Jane. Uh -huh. I'd say he was awake. But he doesn't look good. Do you hear me, rat fucker? For yeah, reasons rather. I don't rightly understand, Lord Alton seems to believe the tales you told us yesterday. Oh, yeah, right. He's convinced himself that you were not lying. So, he wants us to extract more from you. Of this particular purpose you speak of, I mean. We found John Aaron's letter among your belongings. Um, we know he sent you. The question is, why? Did he know of our brotherhood? Aaron knew a lot. ¿Por qué crees que estoy aquí? Don't test my patience. I read the letter he wrote you. There was no mention of Lord Alton or anything of any concern to us. So you only read the first one then? You're a joke. Alton Moore? <laughs> Does that mean he knew of the Brotherhood's plans? Perhaps. What difference would it make to you if that were the case? And more importantly, how would it change things for me if I told you? For us, nothing much. For you, on the other hand, I could spare you a lot of unpleasantness. We already know that John Aaron turned to others to protect the girl. La madre we know that their leader was called the Mother Hen. Go on, stop trying to summon the will to stay defiant. What's holding you back? Are you afraid of betraying your friends? You Deberías relajarte un poco, ¿sabes? Both are dead. Telling us what you know will not earn you their wrath. I will ask you one last time. What did John Aaron know about our brotherhood? He knew that you were planning something. <laughs> he knew that you wanted the girl. The only thing he failed to do was catch you in the act. That's the reason they sent me. I'm the bait. And who are they? Did you really believe that Aaron was the only one interested in you? <laughs> ya te vas a cagar, amigo. But others continue his mission. I must go and speak with Lord Alton. Guts, take care of him. He needs to be punished for no, not no, telling no us this pegue. sooner. Am I free to do as I please? Just make sure he has a very bad night, so he has a change of art. But don't ruin him too much, understood? Hola. I'm the boss. Qué buena gente. Gracias por partirme la espalda. Gracias. Keep trying. Eh? I hope for your sake they tire of questioning you. Bueno, vamos a guardar. Y lo vamos a dejar aquí por ahora. Joder. A que se está liando. Ahora seguiremos en el siguiente vídeo. Hasta ahora. Hey, hey.